The first person that I wanted to introduce you to is our department chair, Dr. Marjorie Rhodes, who will say a few things to kick us off. Thanks, Emily. Hi, everybody. Welcome. I'm really excited to see so many people here. I'm Marjorie Rhodes. I'm the chair of the Department of Psychology. I'm also a professor in our Cognition and Perception program, and my work focuses on cognitive development. So I just want to give you a little overview of our department. We have a really large and vibrant and exciting psychology department. We have two doctoral programs uh, in Cognition and Perception and in Social Psychology. Um, across those two programs, we have about 35 faculty who all run, um, who all direct uh, really exciting, active research labs. Um, so when you are applying to our program, your first decision is whether you're applying to the program in Cognition Perception or the program in Social Psychology. You'll hear more about them today. Social Psych focuses on understanding how people interact with other people and are influenced by the social context uh, in which we are all embedded and includes topics like intergroup relations and social cognition, how people understand other people's thoughts and feelings, um, social neuroscience, um, all sorts of topics like that. Cognition and perception has a wide range of topics, everything from low level vision, um, cognitive neuroscience, higher level cognition, um, perception, I think I already said, and uh, cognitive and development, uh, the area that I'm in. Uh, we don't have a specific program, a PhD program in developmental psychology, but we do have a developmental concentration um, where uh, people who are interested in that can work in one of the developmental labs and take a series of courses that focus on development while completing uh, one of the tracks in cognition and perception or social. Um, so that's your decision. And the cognition, perception, and social psychology programs are different in what they focus on, but um, they share some important commonalities that I think are part of what make our training program um, really exciting and in some ways distinct. Um, one a really big emphasis of this program is getting uh, students involved in research right from the beginning. So as soon as you join the program, you would join a lab. And and you'd start doing research projects right away. So uh, while figuring out what program it's appropriate to apply to, you are also going to give a lot of thought to picking out, you know, which lab in which you think you best fit. And in both cases, we put a really big emphasis on that, on students developing new creative research programs right from the beginning. Um, and I'll just say one more thing about that that makes, I think, our doctoral program uh, really exciting for students who are interested in pursuing research careers is that we have um, a really collective approach to mentorship. So even though you'll be joining a lab right from the beginning and getting going, in your research program, right from the beginning, students can attend multiple labs and will formally receive mentorship from multiple professors who work together to support you. We have a highly collaborative department, uh, both within both of those programs and across the programs. And so it's a really intellectually rich environment um, and a great place to come get research training um, in graduate school. So uh, you're gonna learn a lot more about the program and how to apply throughout the day. Um, Unless Emily wants to mention anything else I should have covered that I didn't. <laughs> I, think uh, no, I think that's great. Just the last thing to, to highlight, um, as Dr. Rhodes has said, is that because we have two different PhD programs, um, you should choose which of the two programs um, you would want to apply for. It's not like just apply to the psych department, it's that you apply to cognition or perception, or you apply to the social program. And so um, would you have any advice on, on how to make sure that their application gets funneled to the right spot? Yeah, I think, um, you know, there's the content area things that I mentioned. So social is interested in intergroup relations, prejudice and discrimination, stereotyping, also things like collective belief and, um, as I mentioned, social neuroscience and attitudes, um, social evaluation, all that kind of stuff. Um, you can see those topics in the program description on the website. And you can also see if you go to our faculty website, it lists all the faculty and which program everyone's affiliated with. And then you click on it, you can learn more about each professor's research. And you want to apply to the program that the professor you're interested in working with is primarily affiliated with. So Emily is primarily affiliated with the social psych program. You go and learn more about her research and you want to apply to work with Emily. It's important to apply to the social psych program um, that she's primarily affiliated with. Um, you know, cognition perception has a whole range of topics. As I mentioned, you can you know see them all on the, on the program website, but the very best way to make sure you're applying to the correct program um, is to figure out, you know, which professors you're interested in working in. And it's completely great 
to work for, with professors in multiple programs. You can absolutely collaborate with faculty who are in both cognition perception and social. In fact, in my own lab, most students uh, who are in my lab also collaborate with another professor who's either in cognition and perception or social or both. So if there are two or three people that you want to work with all together and some are in cognition perception and some are in social and you're not really sure which is best, then I would encourage you to reach out to them and ask and say, you know, I'm really interested in your research and also this person, this person, and my general topic area is this, and which program would you recommend that I apply to? Um, and most people will get back to you with that. So yeah. Perfect. Thanks so much. I appreciate you jumping in to welcome and welcome everybody and kick us off. Marjorie, thanks so much.